This is our main event of the evening, folks. Big fight field. The body slam champ, Peter Alessandro with Emeritus. Taking on the former body slam champion, Michael Finn. And his partner for the night, Chris Brooks. Calamari catch king himself. This will not be a wrestling match. This There's is a battle. war. Yeah, this is straight up former body slam champ taking on current. And we kind of had a feeling it might go off like this. Spending all of all of five seconds inside the ring. This one breaking down to become a street fight brawling all the way around Copenhagen right now, folks. Oh! being taken out in the process. Oh, look at that. Tried to chop Chris Brooks, and he responded with a drop to the hardest part of the ring. Brooks is not one to cower in front of punishment. Oh, back body drops to the floor on the outside. Emirates is being taken down, uh, and ultimately Michael Finn just taking out all his frustrations. Oh. Catch him in the tree of war in a unique way, hanging him on the outside of the ring. And now Michael Fink Ooh, coming stretching in, stretching him, and ultimately, what? Oh, oh, drive by to the, uh, to the well, to, to a guy that couldn't move was absolutely trapped there in Peter Alessander, and ultimately, Teach. Alessandro and Emeritus, again, we talked back to the very, very, very first day when we stepped into Body Slam. They were a team from day one, as far as we're concerned. But can Brooks and Finn, oh, well, can wait, they wait, get wait, it done? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 caught up on the apron. Very nice, and, and Brooks. Oh, just, just trapping him in. Oh, <laughs> stop to the face of Emeritus. Can Brooks and Finn coexist on the same page? Can they find that chemistry? Although right now, I don't think they need to worry about chemistry, because this is just a brawl. And this is spilling out everywhere, Ollie. And we had a feeling it wouldn't be contained in the ring for long, and seems that has reigned true. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What on earth Where's are they doing? Going up onto our balcony. If we can follow. Oh, yeah, that is high. That is over 20 feet up, Ollie. Right up on our uh, on our balcony now. Oh, that is dangerous. Alexander trying to send Finn for a ride, and Michael Finn holding on. Michael Finn trying to return the favour. Trying to get him down. You can see Finn just trying to measure, trying to strike him. Oh, and just as he just as he won the belt on the shoulders, he's now again on the shoulders of Emeritus. Oh, oh. pump kick. Oh, oh. super kick. 
And you could hear that all the way from here. Michael Finn, he's still up there, Teach. Yeah, I think he's just taking a moment, taking a breather to watch. And Brooks just taking both of them on. And Michael Finn just, just moving his disciples, his fans out the way. Oh, he has a plan. And now biting on the head of Emeritus and Mask or not, I won't save you from the teeth of the Calamari Catchkin. Right now, Chris Brooks is just doing a pretty good job of keeping Emeritus and, and, and Alessandra busy. And look, look, there's Michael Fink just coming in, doing the, uh, doing the crab walk. From the heavens, oh! crossbody takes them both out. Michael Finn is here, is a man on a mission tonight. Michael Finn feels that energy pulsating through him in the venue. And the Copenhagen faithful firmly behind the former champ. Finally back inside the ring. Let's see if uh, Finn and Brooks can get the job done. Joe Hicks. Nice. Oh. Wishbone. Make a wish. Oh, oh double basement drop kicks in stereo. Oh, I'm on the show right now, Alice. Uh, uh, excuse me, Emeritus. Coming to the aid of Alessander. Oh, Ollie. You remember oh. this from school? We're getting a bit of a wet willy. Disgusting display. Oh, interesting. And we know Brooks has many different uh, groupings. He's very comfortable working with people and decides that he wants to let Finn in on the wet willy process. Oh. Oh boy, and that is a dripping. Oh! In the, in the mouth. mouth! Oh, in the ear. Oh no. Not a very hygienic way to, uh, no. to wrestle, but you know, mind games from Chris Brooks. We've seen it time and time again. Now, Alessandra. Emirates is trying to work, but look at this. Oh, and here oh, we go. for an octopus stretch. Oh, boy, and with a man with the size and the length of Chris Brooks, it's so painful every time he does it. This could be a double tap out early on, team. The champ could tap out to Michael and Finn. Brooks is going to go a step further. Oh, there's the finger hyperextension. Joint manipulation, British strong style from Brooks. Emeritus and Alessandra both managing to get to the ropes. The team, Michael Finn and, and, and Chris Brooks, working surprisingly well as a tag team. Oh, and you can hear those chops. But that's the thing. Brooks is well known for that. He obviously has the his work with Schadenfreude, one of the most dominant factions in European wrestling. Oh, DDT out of nowhere from Alexander. And that is the, the difference maker. He can make just the, the ultimately the confidence to go for these things. Oh, there's a stiff kick. Oh, go oh. for it. Looks like he's going for a... Could we try for something here? Turn to the page. Oh, nails it. And now Alessandro and Emeritus in the in the driver's seat. So what I was gonna say was Brooks has come work with many people. Of course, a CCK with the, with uh, with Lycos has Schadenfreude with some of the greatest wrestlers currently in the world. He is very comfortable working with anyone. But that temporary alliance, Oli, it pales in comparison to the sheer unit that is Emeritus. And Alessandro, who have done this for a lot longer and more consistently. I, 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 I think that's maybe the curse of the commentator. As soon as I mention how well Brooks and Finn are doing, Alessandro and Emeritus has just come around and literally with a, with a with a literal turn of the page, they're back in the driver's seat and it's divide and conquer yeah, for, strong, the, uh, strong for the champ right now. For a slingshot, oh, oh into the knee, and into the back. knee. Well, that is some tandem offense. One, two. He counts with the former champ. Still cannot believe I'm saying that. This doesn't feel right, does it? It's going to take some getting used to. And 
And Emeritus following the orders, following the ghost of Alessandra. We've seen this before. Martyr on the cross, if you will. Alessandra up on the shoulders. Crucifix oh. draw. Alessandra onto Michael One, Finn. One, two. Still not enough. Hit Michael Finn so hard that it, uh, it caught me off guard. You can see the chops in the chest of Alessandra. Chris Brooks' is handiwork. Literally. You see Finn just trying to fight up from his, uh, from his back. And Emeritus is on his hand and just closing the door in his face. Oh, they're going for it a second time. Oh, and oh, there's Chris, Brooks saving Chris Brooks the day. Is back in. Oh, and he hasn't realised. And maybe he realises there's a much taller man lifting him up. Yeah, I think if, if Chris Brooks turns round. Olesander's oh, going to see, there you go, no. the look of shock on the face of the champ. He says, put me down. Oh, Chris, oh. Chris Brooks obliges, sends Olesander flying into Emeritus and out of the and ring. somehow he managed to get back in the ring. And that sheer height advantage Brooks possesses just threw him over the rope. And oh, here we go. Trying to get him on there. Oh, is Brooks going oh, for right. it? Oh, no. Go for oh, a no. oh, oh, slingshot oh, oh, oh. into the uh, the nether regions. Yeah. Double under oh. picks him up. Oh, Emirates is there to save the day. Manages to recover a little bit. Now Emirates is reining in those forearms. Oh, we've seen this before. Stomping down in the heart of Chris Brooks. Oh, short arm clothesline as well. Brooks looks out of it. Looks like he's been stunned. Lemaritz is still recovering. Can't capitalize on it. Yeah, but that, that move, is, as we say, you know, that move just you know, stunning Chris Brooks. Gives Alessandro a chance to get back into this one to kind of gather himself, figure out whereabouts he is. Stiff elbow, big boot. Oh, and Wise gets out of the way. Watch out, though. Michael Finn! Flying crossbody from the former champ. And the crowd loving it. Isolates Emeritus. Nice, Re though. Knee step in. The whip. Kills the momentum. Very smart from Emeritus. But Finn is on a roll. Catch me if you can. He just can't. Picks him up. Oh, huge sidewalk slam. Here, the love and respect for Michael Finn from the Body Slam faithful. He may not be the champ anymore. But then you can see that and charisma. Still have his respect. Huge oh. leg drop. And a flip up, and after everything he's been through, it's amazing he has that fortitude. But that is what the former champion is like. He conditions himself to a ridiculous degree. Finn and Brooks that stand in the ring. Push them off. Oh, sends oh. Alessandra up and over, crashing down onto his tag team partner. And it looks like Brooks is going to fly. Suicide oh. dive. Beautiful. Takes out both men. Using himself as a weapon, the Calamari Catch King. There's a cruise missile right there. A near seven foot cruise missile. And Finn now maybe seeing validation and redemption as he catches the champ. Double oh. foot stop. Oh, into the twisting neck breaker. Nasty combination, but Finn is not done. He is not done. He wants to put. He wants to put an end to this once and for all. Frog splash! One, two, no. and Emeritus no. comes in. Of course, the man who is most loyal is going to be available. 
when needed. Brooks directing a bit of traffic here. Let's go oh, for a feet cutter. Misdirection sends Chris Brooks crashing to the outside. Up and down! Oh, spine buster! Oh, and a double foot stomp adding insult to the injury. Or injury to injury, should I say. And now we've gone from one to the oh. other. Oh! The truth hurts from the top row. And we're for the pin. One, two. Just the two count again. Just about kicked out, though. That was not as emphatic as we would want to see. Book and teach it's a no DQ. Yeah, anything goes. Is he going to read a sermon? I think he's making him aware of what's about to happen to him, but this is not the time, in my opinion. Go. That's what you get. Olesandra again directing the traffic. Now they go from the pinnacle to the pit. Put him up in the tombstone. Springboards in. Oh! Spikes him! Pinnacle to the pit. And Olesandra says that's over. Crosses the arm. One, oh, wait, it comes two, Chris Brooks. Oh! Slingshot drop kick. That's one way to break it up. Beautiful. Chris Brooks proving he's just as willing as Emeritus oh, to do boy. what it takes to save the day for his partner. And here come the chops. Oh, wait, wait. This, oh! oh, Disc's clothesline turns Brooks inside out. Be sounding like a unique figure four, Ollie. He's going tied up, rolls him round. Oh. Submission attempt from Emeritus. Has that pressure reversed as well. Allows him to pull back on the oh, leg. No, 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 cross face as well. Oh, from man. From Alessander. He's got to hold on. Finn is up top right. Front oh, splash. front splash to Emeritus. Frees up the, the, the legs, the lanky legs of Chris Brooks. And Brooks trying to get him over. Oh wait, triangle, oh, triangle. Oh, triangle choke. But I don't know if that's wise. We got a man like Chris Picks Brooks. Him up. One up. Oh, what a power bomb. Alessander onto Emeritus. And that is smart from Chris Brooks using one man to take the other. Don't work hard, work smart. And the crowd showing their appreciation for a main event worthy of headlining a Copenhagen show or any show, Body Slam for that matter. We wholeheartedly agree. Emeritus backslide. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, knee to the face. Maintaining that wrist control. Now he wants to dump Brooks to the outside and pull off something disgusting. As we know, Emeritus has it in his repertoire. Big cutter, cutter. cutter! And Emeritus somehow up. Brooks is ready. Slingshot oh. cutter from Chris Brooks. Oh, oh. And a third cutter. Elevated cutter. One, One two, two, three. Oh! Emeritus. That was very. I can teach all oh, yeah. you. I thought that was three. Only just an elevated cutter after two vicious cutters before. Some are still managed it, and Michael Finn just looks pissed. It's almost as if the former champ has snapped, he's had it up. Oh, oh. Is this dissension? No, he's calling for the tables, TG. He's calling for the tables. Lord have mercy. We're bringing tables into the mix. 
Well, we've seen it before in the, in the tag team match last time out. The Swedish elite brought a table in and they were, uh, their, their game plan was undone by that table. I think they just took, took just too long in getting that table in. Smart. Monisanda seeing a weapon, use it against your opponent. The tools of my enemy are mine to use. Now Monisanda's got to try and capitalize. And actually he's bringing the table in. Interesting. I guess they see it as a well worth idea. Uh, ultimately, yeah, they could use it just as easily as Brooks and, and Finn could. There's the former body Sam Chan rolled in and they would be even adding insult to injury if it was him that they, they put through the table, if it was him that they pinned for the win, that would just completely all, set all it up. All of a sudden, the momentum that Finn and Brooks were carrying it's just, it is just flip round 180 and this is now a very very dangerous situation that Michael Finn finds himself <laughs> Alessandra ascending to that second rope oh wait oh insecurity oh, Oh, and Brooks trying to save his part, and Emirates is denying. Getting the but up. Big cutter! And, oh, I don't think Alessandra's seen. I don't think he knows. Oh, Alessandra's still stunned from that Enziguri courtesy of Chris Brooks. And the crowd coming alive. Brooks taking the exhausted Alessandra. Emirates lying prone on the table. Oh, Ollie, what have they got in mind here? Now oh, you're in the main oh, event. You want to go large? Super cutter! Super oh! cutter! Through, super cutter! Through Emirates, through the table. Are you kidding me? Takes out both men with the cutter through the table. Holy shit! It's right, and the table's still there. The sheer momentum took the legs out, and Finn and Brooks are not happy. Until one of those boys goes through that table, the job is not done, Ollie. He's got him set up. He's prone, he's ready. He wants to add the, uh, the punish. Oh, Frog Splash! Splash! From Michael Finn. And this one in the exclamation point. One, two, two three. three. The champ is back on top. Redemption for Michael Finn, Ollie. Step one, victory in the tag team match. Step two, he now needs a singles victory over Peter Alessandra, and that gold will be back where it belongs. What a match, though, Tej. Brooks, Finn working together perfectly. That is exactly what we expect from men of that caliber and skill and that is why Body Slam is one of the most in demand and beloved wrestling companies on the European scene. What a match and ultimately Michael Finn stays on top. He may have lost the, uh, the ladder match. Technically though, still not pinned or submitted. Standing tall, quite rightly. Brooks and Finn, and even though he may not have the belt in his grasp right now, I think we can safely say he is but a few steps away from reclaiming it. What an, uh, uh, an immense close. Immense end to the night here in Copenhagen, team. This has been an absolute riot. We've had it. We've had the highs. We've had the lows. We hope Matthew Burnett is okay. We hope that there was not too much damage done from that vicious bottle attack from the Swedish elite. And here we see Michael Finn with his hands back on the belt. Don't don't, don't get this image wrong, folks. He is not our champ.
That, but we that want is, him to be. That is still Alessandra, but ultimately Michael Finn stands, stands tall tonight here in Copenhagen. I don't know what he said to Peter Alessandra just then. You know, it's, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been pretty.